I am Busse Arantekin. I'm starting my master's degree in computer engineering at Karbik University. And it's an honor to be with you at the International Conference on Interdisciplinary Applications of Artificial Intelligence. In this presentation, I'm going to tell you about our project that we have developed uh, with our team. The name of our project, to Deduction and Numbering with Instant Segmentation in Panoramic Radiographs. Our team includes computer engineers and dental radiology experts with bachelor's, master's and doctorate degrees. And this work supported by Tubitak with the project number 2200272. Panoramic radiography. Panoramic radiography used in the project and imaging technique that uses X-rays, gamma rays, or similar types of radiation to weave the internal form of an object in a wide field of view. And panoramic radiographs are the most preferred imaging method for detecting diseases in dentistry, allowing the jaws and teeth to be monitored with a single film. Our materials and methods you can see in this picture. Our methods consist, uh, consist of four steps. Step one, data collection. The data set used in this study was obtained by obtaining the ethics committee report. The text part of the data set used consists of random data from the data set. And step two, image labeling and annotations in the data labeling stage. Data must be labeled, tagged in order to detect objects. And in the step, a class assignment is made by drawing the boundaries of the objects to be detected and its importance. In addition, non-object regions are recognized as background. Step three, image segmentation can be defined as dividing an image into meaningful regions in each of which different features are kept. And in this step, mass RCNN network is used. Step four, finally step, um, FTI numbering. The tooth numbering is provided by the FTI notation system, which is used universally by dentists. Data collection and labeling. Images obtained from the different panoramic imaging devices were checked by dental radiologists and made ready for use. Each of the teeth in the panoramic radiographic images is labeled and given a class name. Um, classes are um, tooth or background or uh, 48 or 21 number, etc. In order to detect objects, a total of 1030 data. Total data is 780 training data, 150 validation data, and testing 100 test data were labeled in the our developed anti-assist software environment. Image segmentation. In this step, the regions that are likely to be objects are divided and masked to each region color. You can see the picture. The reason for using instant segmentation instead of semantic segmentation is that each object has a different color mask. Object regions are defined as one within the mask held by the mask RCNN network, while the background region is defined as zero. In the neural network where the ResNet 101 FPN feature pyramid network model is used as the backbone network. So transfer learning is provided with pre-trained MS Cocoa weights. And for the detection and segmentation of teeth uh, with mask RCNN, which provides information about the positions of the object in the ROI region of interest and the pixels of the teeth was used. Our network, our neural networks mask RCNN, detect objects in the images, creating a high quality segmentation mask for each image. Um, RCNN, region based convolutional neural networks, provide the regional based detection by using pyramid shaped features. So, RCNN improves the instant segmentation results by placing uh, R RPN, region proposal network, in floating windows to uh, feature pyramid network, FPN in object detection. Because RCNN is too costly to make the right decisions. So, mask RCNN extends the faster RCNN to the segment at the branch using existing detection results. Our network arch architecture details and system architecture, mask RCNN includes a branch of convolution networks. 
which is a standard convolutional neural network that functions as a feature extractor to perform the instant segmentation task. A network extracting image features such as deep residual networks as um, ResNet 50 or ResNet um, 101 prefer that the backbone network, as shown in the figure, the dental objects that exist in the panoramic dental radiography are um, passed through the two-step RPN network. The features of the two images from the residual backbone network are set to the pooling layer by mapping. And the overlap boxes are scanned according to an MS algorithm. Uh, it's called non-maximum spreadsheet algorithm. Uh, regions containing objects are divided into anchors with a certain threshold value, and uh, we are choosing the uh, 0.7 threshold value with the anchor-based approach algorithm containing the model. The maximum values in the pooling layer are selected to the CNN, and you can see in the output images. And finally, step uh, tooth numbering, FDI numbering. Um, actually, there are different numbering systems commonly used by dentists since it is um, necessary to use a common notation system by gathering data around a universal context. The tooth numbering system is used in images. And in the study of the eye notation, which is a universal system is used. And um, FDI World Dental Federation is the world leading organization representing the dentistry profession. According to this numbering system, the numbers in the tenth plate represent regions and uh, whether the teeth are permanent or uh, temporary. The numbers in the one digit represent the site pink names for teeth such as incisors, canines, or molars and premolars. And our experimental result, um, the graphic shown figure in left belongs to the uh, graphic of total loss values resulting um, from the train data. And by providing a total of 100 apex training, the loss value was um, reduced below a certain value. And uh, we reached, uh, we are reached the um, 0 0.6 uh, loss value. As you can see in figure in right, MAP is mean average precision as accuracy, recall, F1 score, and precision performance metrics were used to compare um, residual networks, ResNet 50 and ResNet 101 networks. And after the training procedure, Mescar CNN obtained higher results in the training using the ResNet 101 backbone. And table comparison of different backbone networks with the instant segmentation. You can see in the table accuracy, precision, F1 score, and recall performance with metric comparison of residual networks. And it has been observed that the um, ResNet 101 network produces more performance results. And as a result of the training, the MAP metric was used to evaluate the accuracy of the existing test images as um, 100 images. And as a result, the accuracy metrics had over 90% success, and you can see in the table. Um, this was my presentation. Thank you for listening to me.